Before we start, let me give you a short disclaimer. Every video on this channel won't be me attacking Australians for their way of life. With that said, here are three surprisingly depressing facts about Australia. Number one, the Skylab. In 1979, pieces of NASA's $2 billion 80-ton Skylab crashed into a town in Western Australia. In response to the incident, the town fined NASA a total of $400. That's equivalent to me crashing my car into your living room and saying, oh, don't worry, I'll pay for dinner. Okay, maybe that's a slight exaggeration. The real takeaway is that the same organization that brought us baby formula, speedo swimsuits, and super absorbent diapers has enough power to bully a sovereign nation. Number two, Australia's global context. All students studying abroad with Northeastern have to take a class called Australia, a global context. Well, what is Australia's global context? The author of our textbook for the class, Stuart McIntyre, tries to answer this exact question using Aboriginal evidence. This is the third edition of this book, can you believe they made three of these? The Aborigines were not wholly cut off from external contact. The native dog, the dingo, reached Australia some 4,000 years ago. Did he just use the gray wolf's sad cousin as a justification for Australia's global presence? Yes. Yes, he did. Number three, Australians pirate more TV than any other country in the world. Thanks to Australia, the Game of Thrones season four finale became the most pirated show in television history, setting a new record for illegal downloading. Following its original airing, the episode was illegally downloaded almost 1.5 million times. That's million with an M. According to Foxtel, an Australian TV company, for every one episode watched legally, a second episode was watched illegally. This of course can mean a number of different things. Number one, Australians love stealing things. While seemingly plausible, this probably isn't true. Option number two, Australian TV is just terrible. IMDB lists Australia's most popular television show as Home and Away. A 1988 TV series that chronicles the lives, loves, happiness, and heartbreaks of the residents of Summer Bay, a small coastal town in New South Wales, Australia. How mind-numbingly boring does that sound? Add singing, dancing, and teenagers questioning their sexuality, and you basically have glee. Australia's third most popular show is a 2006 TV series called H2O, Just Add Water. The description for this nail butter of a show reads, when three teenage girls stumble upon an ancient cave, they undergo a transformation that will change their lives forever. I know what you're thinking. What was the transformation? Did the girls meet their long lost parents? A famous relative? Is this a gripping remake of The Parent Trap where Lindsay Lohan plays all three girls? Nope, mermaids. They turned into mermaids. Australia's third most popular television show is about three girls turning into mermaids. The show's ever creative writers make this even better by creating the tagline, do you believe in mermaids? No, no I don't believe in mermaids. And again, I know what you're thinking. Okay, Chris, but low budget films and TV shows fail all the time. That's the thing, this wasn't low budget. $10 million, that's 10 with six zeros, zero, 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 was spent on making a show about three girls who turn into mermaids when they touch water. For that kind of money, you could have solved world hunger, actually bought a kangaroo as a pet, turned Australia into a giant theme park, or paid for a college tuition at Northeastern. Maybe. But no, mermaids. 